now that we've removed the uh, P-trap, we're going to melt the uh, existing lead off of the uh, pipe and disconnect it from the wall so that we can reconnect a new piece of pipe. And of course we're doing this by heating up the uh, lead. We don't want to keep the uh, fire constantly and directly on the uh, lead because if we do, we can end up burning a hole through the pipe itself on the other side of the flange. So, what I like to do is I like to start by heating up the pipe itself, putting as much heat on the pipe as I can. And as you can see now, the lead is slowly melting away. Once it gets to a point, right there. Okay, now that we have that piece out, we're going to take a, uh, a wire brush or something that we can scrape the existing uh, lid off with once we heat it back up so we can have a nice clean surface to work with. Back up, as I said. Okay, we're going to keep the flame on it and lightly just knock the melting part of the uh, lead away so we have a clean surface here to work with. See how it's cleaning up and taking the lead off of there? Here is putting some flux on the uh, surface that we'll, we'll be working on because the flux is going to uh, help adhesive the new lead to the uh, flange here. And what we're looking at here is a uh, inch and a quarter P trap. Most bath sinks have inch and a quarter, and kitchen sinks usually have inch and a half. And what I like to do is kind of lay my material out before I uh, get the job started. And here you can see that I'm uh, scraping off the uh, chrome part of the uh, J bin so that so we can get down to the brass because the brass is where we're going to be able to. Uh, solder the two pieces together the lead and the uh, brass pipe itself and we're just doing doing this with just a regular file and we're just going to keep filing it down until we get a nice get it down to the brass part you can see the chrome is gone To, uh, put flux on this part and the next step from this is called tinting and what we do is when we tint it is we heat the pipe up and we just run some solder and just melt the solder right onto that brass part and it's going to look like it's chrome again also but that solder is going to make it uh, take to the uh, lid and since I only have two hands, we're going to take the torch and just let it lay on the floor and a pair of channel lock pliers and we'll just start heating the pipe up. Okay, now we're starting to melt the uh, solder onto the brass part. So we can flow on there. Let's 
Casey Hines spreads. And once we get it to where we want it, we're going to just take a rag and just kind of wipe that solder. Just wipe it down, just kind of make it smooth. Okay, and what we're doing here is we're just kind of piecing it together so it'll line up just the way we want it. And also, once it's pieced together, it'll help us hold it in place while we're wiping the uh, new lead on it. Again, some more flux. See, so we're fitting it to where it's going to fit just the way we want it. And once we get it in place, start melting the uh, lead bar on there. And the uh, lead that we used on here is called a 6040 lead. They call it 6040. So, when you're going to do a job like this, go to the supply house, get you some 6040 lead. Get the big bar, they've got the small bar and a larger bar. Me personally, I like to work with the uh, larger bar, like this one here. Sixty forty lead. And just as when we pulled it apart, what I like to do is start by just heating up the pipe itself. I try to keep as much of the flames away from the flange as I can. Just gradually just start kind of feeling your way in there. And when it gets hot enough, you'll see the lead start to melt. As you see it right there. Just kind of melt. Just kind of push it up in there. Try to seal all those cracks up in there. And I always like to start at the bottom because if you start at the top, uh, when you get back down to the bottom, you'll remelt what you put in there because the heat will rise. So just kind of start at the bottom and work your way up slowly to the top. See how I'm constantly just pushing the lead up in there? Just the bar is just melting. It's going to look rough at the beginning. But what we're going to do is, once we get it to where we want it and seal good enough, we're going to use a rag and kind of smooth it out and push it back in there and just have a nice, clean, smooth joint. So don't worry about what it looks like right now. You notice I'm putting the flames directly on it and then constantly pulling it away, give it a chance to cool down so that the uh, lead won't run everywhere. Uh, 
Okay. Now we're going to uh, wipe it. Now remember, we're going to wipe it in to the fitting itself. There you go. Now it looks like a lot more of a smoother look. And one other thing we like to do is just take a normal candle. And if there's any any voids anywhere, this candle, the, the wax from this candle will fill the voids. And usually, just use the candle when the, uh, of course, when the uh, pipe is rather warm. See how it just melts in there? And any voids that might be in there will seal it up nice and tight. Keep it from leaking.